Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to present the topic image processing. Uh, so the contents of the presentation are uh, uh, what is image processing, uh, applications of image processing, purpose, uh, what are types, uh, then their components, what about their future, the advantages and disadvantages uh, and the conclusion which I came to and the references which I took. So image processing uh, is the use of digital computer to process digital images through an algorithm uh, which means that the image which we took is processed by using computer algorithms uh, to process something which is productive and use it for some other use thing uh, image processing generally refers to the processing of 2d pictures 2d pictures actually means uh, digital image uh, actually the image is actually an a re array of complex or real number represented by a finite number of bits that's why the photos which we took are usually uh, have a size of 32 KB to about uh, uh, about 100 MB. Uh, these, these days optical and analog image processing also possible. Usually in older days there was only analog image processing. Uh, so we can go to the next slide. The applications of uh, image processing are used in face detection. Uh, when we nowadays, when we unlock our smartphone, uh, our camera is capturing an image of our face and it's processed and it detects our face, then our phone is unlocked. It's due to the uh, application behind uh, image processing. Uh, even high quality and highly embedded systems there is even feature detection even minute details such as our eyelashes iris etc can be detected by application of image processing uh, about they can also render for non photo realistic images they are even used in medical image processing they are uh, they are employed for rendering even scans which is taken in a very low clarity as compared to the output which we get it's due to the applications behind image processing uh, even uh, then we have to carbon date something or uh, something like a fossil uh, image processing can be used if we have got a skeleton the morphological image processing is even possible by the software behind image processing uh, even we have to nowadays when we have to measure or send something we can use uh, image processing the image processing is done in automated sieving procedures they are even used in our regular fingerprint recognition systems we can go to the next slide so they are the purpose of image processing uh, they are used to visualize something they are used for image sharpening and restoration they are used for image retrieval they are used for measurement of pattern and image recognition so first thing visualization visualization means something we have uh, no vision about vision means i am just saying about uh, something that have a dimension of about nanometers nanometers we can see it with our naked eyes but with the help of image processing we can process the image which we see within our digital image which is a 2d and convert it with the help of image processors and we can uh, enlarge the image and see the see the of reality behind our atoms and nucleus.
so image uh, usually some images don't have that much detailing so image processing can be used for sharpening the image and they can be restored to their original color and sometimes the image get uh, pixels get uh, broken and they can be harmful to our systems which can even uh, shut down our devices by having the spectrum is not within the what the within our systems so it may be harmful for our system so image can be retrieved by using image processing uh, so the measurements can be also been taken uh, nowadays if we take the example of the new iphone 12 uh, they have got a lidar scanner which is having the principles behind image processing they usually send uh, lidar means light detection and ranging systems these all are uh, principles of image processing the software detects uh, the measurements angles even depth of something by just an image processing these all are uh, possible with the help of image processing and image processing can distinguish between an image nowadays our security cameras are equipped with softwares that can recognize our faces and even say uh, say our address and our uh, occupation everything which is stored in the database can be recognized by image recognition software so we can go to the next slide so the types of image processing uh, so the first one analog image processing analog image processing means like uh, television broadcasting in older days through the shantina systems uh, where as the digital means uh, storing the data in digital form uh, so analog systems are not really used these days uh, so, so the optical image processing means uh, using light and special properties of photons to obtain detailed images of organs tissues and cells and even molecules these are uh, so we can move to the next slide Uh, so the components of image processing components of image processing are image sensors uh, then image displays uh, image processing image uh, processing softwares uh, image processing hardware and the memory which is the images are stored image sensors are usually the sensors which capture the digital image and image displays are which which the image are displayed uh, usually a monitor or the display which we have with the camera is an image displaying unit uh, usually and the image processing soft image processors are usually in that's called isp it's usually inside our digital camera in olden days we have to process the image by washing the film and then we used to get the image and um, software software is the major backbone of image processing uh, softwares like OpenCV, matlab cimg are very 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 useful in image processing and they are the major different force of image processing uh, so we have got image processing hardware also uh, then we have go, we have to have a memory memories of which the image process are stored and we even we have a basic image we have to store it in memory we have to have a memory uh, uh, so we can go to the next slide uh, so the future of image processing uh, so we are all in the midst of revolution ignited by fast development in our computer technology and imaging uh, so all the developments even the billionaires are all working in the IT sector they are all in the computer technology so computer realm is the major force driven driving the world so there is a belief that computers cannot match human in calculation 
related to image processing and analysis uh, so that in, uh, that belief is actually wrong because computers are getting smarter every day uh, even though they are not smart as humans they are getting smart every day and they are very fast in processing and their analysis is very very fast these days they can even capture any single detail within a fraction of second uh, but with the increase in sophistication and power of modern computing computation will go beyond conventional conventional methods uh, so sequential architecture would not contemplate with the optical execution so we can go to the next slide uh, so what are the advantages and disadvantages so so there are many advantages and the disadvantages are very very less compared to the advantages the pros are uh, it is an interactive method for recognizing fingerprints these days every person having a phone has a fingerprint scanner the thing basic principle behind fingerprint scanners are uh, image processing uh, because image processing is based upon minutia these days and this is more accurate than overlapping method uh, actually these minutia points are the local discontinuities there are two types of um, share points uh, endings and bifurcations a good quality image usually has about 40 to 100 minutes in these mini shape points which are used for the uniqueness of a fingerprint uh, the points which are of our hand is uh, recognized and our phone is unlocked so we can go to the cone section it is more time consuming as compared to the former overlapping technology it is uh, having more complex programming and structures and we can move to the next slide which is image processing steps from image processing sensor the analog and analog is converted to digital and then is going to d bear then 3 by 3 matrix then gamma is corrected then again to 3 by 3 then chroma so sampling then to the jpg encoder then to jpg decoder then to chroma resum then again to 3 by 3 then the gamma is corrected then 3 by, to a 3 by 3 matrix and the image is scaled then the digital is converted uh by the analog which is processed and finally to the display so we can go to the next slide uh, so the conclusion uh using image processing techniques we can sharpen the images contrast to a make a display more useful for display reduce amount of memory requirement for storing image information etc every thing which we use are based on image processors image processing is an essential thing now it is uh, everything which we have a camera has got an image signal processing sensors which are very very small in size but they can do wonders uh, due to such techniques image processing is applied in recognition of image as in factory flow as quality assurance systems image enhancement as in satellite resonance uh, the systems image synthesis as in law enforcement suspect identification systems image construction as in plastic surgery and design systems they are very very useful as my time is of uh, 15 minutes i have to conclude so i am go fire going fast uh, so i can go to the next slide oh so is with the references which i took from i took references from google wikipedia and slideshare and thank you